Corbin Hostler, and here we go with some mono black zombies slash vampires. Uh, this game seems pretty good. Uh, looks like our opponent's on the play, but he mulliganed once, and we get to go. Hmm. I guess it. I think I'm gonna go grave crawler. It's interesting. We either decide to thought seize now, or we decide to thought seize on turn four. Hmm. I guess we thought seize now because he mulliganed. It does slow us down a little bit, but this will cover a lot of distance in the end there. Assuming we can get to it. It's actually a hard choice, but the mulligan is sort of the, uh... Yeesh, he says. Oh. <laughs> and that's why we did that. Because there goes his boggle. I don't know about how boggles. I don't know what kind of matchup that's going to be like for us. We have access to one Liliana. So let's just hope he doesn't find another boggle. Or Bogle, or what have you. Or in this case, neither of those. It's a Silhana Ledgewalker. But what else do we know about? He's got three Umpras. So the Sam was pretty reasonable until we did that. Okay, this at least, well, gives us things to do on turn four, I guess. Or we could play out two of these now, which equals three damage, which is more than the Blood Gas will do. So sure. And the Blood Gas might have haste later. Yeah, this makes sense. I like this, yeah, because playing these two represents three damage a turn to him, whereas playing the blood gas would only be two, and neither of these will have haste, whereas the blood gas, you know, could have haste later on. So it's going to be a huge gray merchant, so even if he gets something going, uh, if we can hit some lands here, the gray merchant will be enough to sort of close it out. That said, if he just starts going in on his thing, we know he has Daybreak Coordinates, a bunch of life gain, and here it comes, so. Alright, uh, at least we hit a land. Certainly gives us more outs. Alright, well, we're going to attack. He can't block, so he's going to take a bunch of damage. All right, he's down to eight. So this is going to come down to whether or not I think we hit land next. Probably have two turns to hit land for this gray merchant. The Urborg's a little awkward too because if he draws a fetch land, he'll be able to get mana off of it. But he can go. Well, I guess the problem for him actually is if he doesn't have another land, um, he can just put Umbra's on, Spider Umbra's on it, not a Daybreak Cornet and Lifelink's what he really needs, which would then allow him to say block our Blood Gas and take 3-6, which wouldn't kill him uh, if we don't draw land. So I guess that might be the boat he's in. If he doesn't have a third land, he could, he could be in just as much trouble. Alright, yeah, I guess he realized that also. <laughs> We were going to probably get there. Okay, well. How do we beat Boggles? I think we start by boarding out things that don't do anything like Collective Brutality. As much as I want Collective Brutality to do something, it doesn't. Uh, Fatal Push does nothing either, but it probably does. It's probably slightly better than Dismember. All right, Lashrath, don't think that matters. Don't think the Surgicals matter. Brutalities aren't going to matter. He doesn't have that many instances of sorceries. We can't target his creatures. Same with Damnation. Ghost Quarters aren't needed. Uh, Obliterators, I think, could be good because a lot of times, even if they're things big, if we chump block it, this makes him pay a very hefty price for, for being in that situation if he doesn't have either flying or, or protection from creatures. So... And we have access to a Ratchet Bomb. Okay, well, I think this is probably the best we're going to do here. We know that we want hands with interaction. And this one's eh, pretty close. By inter I mean, this is actually probably real good in the matchup, but not keeping a one-lander. All right, this is pretty decent. I'm going to bottom that land because we already have three. And now we have four drop, but we'll hit one. Okay, well, now we've mulled to five. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's living the dream over there. He's got the... Layline and the Boggle. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, well, 
Not ideal, not ideal. We essentially mulliganed to four this game. Death Touch guy could do a lot of work, though. His Umbras will allow him to come back, but still. It answers a bunch of stuff. Yep. Does he not have a second land? That's good for us. Or terrible for us, depending on how you look at it, I suppose. And there's another land for us, so we'll at least be able to cast this Kalidus. He's got first strike, though. That's actually a blowout, assuming he has another one mana enchantment here, which he does. Um, okay, well, that one actually doesn't matter that much. Because he can no longer, he cannot attack. Gosh, come on, game. Magic Online, why you do this to me? Guess we'll go ahead and play this. I also think we should attack. Because if he has another thing that pumps it, we're not going to be able to block anyways. Um, so we may as well get the life now. Like that. This thing is now untouchable. Great. Well, we have a couple lifelink threats, so maybe we'll have a couple turns to hang in there. Trying to... Oh my god. That's fun. Well, Magic Online gets you, man. It gets you. It gets you hard. <laughs> oh, so I just got to laugh at it, though. Man. What a silly, what a silly game. Four Thought Seizes. Best card. This is honestly the best card in Modern, but... Ugh. Ooh, we get trolled right now. Maybe this is the best card in Modern, actually. I don't know. This is pretty funny, though. We even had one. We've drawn three. Like, three of our four draws, five draws, three of our five draws have been Thought Seizes. It's not even like we have Inquisitions and Thought Seizes. We literally just have Thought Seizes. That's pretty good. Okay. Liliana, please. He's got another boggle. Liliana's no good anymore. Uh, okay, so I think we will be attacking with these guys and chump blocking with our Muta Vault. In fact, chump blocking and sacrificing it to Kalidus. Correct? We can do that? Yeah, we'll have enough mana to do that. We're trying to race it. We still have outs. He still doesn't have trample. And we're gaining a bunch of life, too. He doesn't have trample, and we have, like, Ratchet Bomb, I guess, is our only out, but it's something. In fact, he doesn't get to gain life here, either. There's actually probably a lot of good draws on our deck, uh, given this interaction. He does nothing. He gains no life. We get to crack back for, you know, some damage. That's it's not a great draw. But what if we drew Frick's and Obliterator or something right here? We're, we're, I mean, given that he obviously doesn't have a second land, but uh, I think that's only fair, you know, that's that's fair game considering this Leyline versus Four Thoughtsies interaction here. All right, now we do have to take a bunch. But he hit us for eight. We're gaining seven back. What if we just drew Gravecrawler? I guess we don't have another zombie, but... Yep. Oh, God. Okay, well, that put the brakes on real quick. Okay, well... Uh... Guess I'll attack with my Kalidus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Guess we'll attack with our Kalidus. Throw our blood gas at it. Or maybe we don't do that. Maybe we 
Well, the Blood Gas can't block, but the Gifted Aetherborn can, and then he doesn't get a gain life. I guess that's better. See, Aetherborn's not going to do anything now anyways. We had so many outs in this game. Now I don't think we do. Just destroy someone land. I don't need path anyways. Um, sure. I guess we could draw Damnation. We'll make a chump block to survive this turn. We were so close to pulling out of this game in a fair way. Alright, we've died though. Well, that was that was kinda silly. Uh it was four thoughtsies versus uh yeah, I'm revealing our hand. <laughs> Come on, game. So the brutalities aren't good, but man, these fatal pushes don't do anything. It's, and this isn't good either, though. Is surgical good? Like, the fatal push does nothing. Like if he ha if he has the spirit dancer, it does something. But I mean, he's playing path. Maybe the brutal the brutality just get more blown out by uh. Honestly, maybe it's surgical. Maybe we want to disc make him discard and then. Because we're, we're, we're playing cards that don't do anything, one way or another. We could get paths with this one. Um, and that is good. And in some cases, this can even kill a Spirit Dancer. But we could also, say, make him discard a Boggle and then nuke his Boggle with Surgical. We're going to try it like this. Those Fatal Pushes just aren't going to do anything. All right, we're keeping it. This hand's very good. Very, very good hand if he doesn't ley line us again. We get a Thought Seize. We have three of the four lands needed for Obliterator. Oh my gosh, beautiful. All right, he molded to six, and we get a Thought Seize. That's what I like. Oh my gosh. Well, we have to take the Daybreak Coronet, but that's all horrible for us. His Mold of Six was very, very good. So he only has one land, so we just have to hope he never actually gets to cast this thing. But he gets to do whatever else he wants, that's for sure. He has no answers to Obliterator either. We, I mean, yeah. Oh, nice draw, nice draw. And he has no answers to this either. Currently. So we have the tools to play a fair game with him here. Of course he could draw and he doesn't have land either, so he, he's he can load his guy up a little bit, but we have some lifelink, then hopefully we're gonna cast an obliterator on time. And well he drew his land, so that's that's bad thing for us number one, but Yep, Scout, Rancor. Can't actually attack, though. I guess he could. Good. Okay, there's our other land that we need. Am I attacking? Probably not. Well, actually, looking at his hand, I think he's draw and his draws have been land plus one other land. Hmm. I think there might be one card we don't know about. So let's see here. This is... Un yeah, whatever. I think there's like one card we don't know about. Uh, I guess I'm going to attack because the Relentless Dead can probably trade just as well. He has to draw first strike for, for us to not be fine doing that. And we can buy it back perfectly on this turn. And then play Obliterator next turn and he has that path. And he drew another land. So here comes the... Now here comes the unflinching courage. So I mean, yes, we can't trade, and yes, he has trample, but uh, we still can just buy this back, so we can prevent two of it at least. So while not ideal, this is not the worst either. So yeah, he has one card we don't know about. Hopefully it's not Path to Exile. Come 
Come on, game. I would like to pay to bring it back. All right, well, let's hope this obliterator does work. Uh, I guess we still get in here with this. Maybe I'm not. The thing is, if he has removal, if he if he does have path, he's going to path obliterator, but then that means he still can't attack. So maybe it's actually better to just keep this back. Our problem is going to be finding a way to get around if he just decides to play defense. Because we can start clocking in with Obliterator, but he can gain a bunch of life back. But that means he also has to have an answer to the Aetherborn, so... And he drew a land. So this is... I mean, that's annoying. But he can't... It means he doesn't even have anything, so... Uh, we get in there with, uh... With the Obliterator, for sure, because this kills him in four turns. We have no reason not to do it. The cage is pretty decent against us, but the obliterator is very good against him. Well, <laughs> both of these cards we just played are not so good against cage. But it comes down to him having to find a way around our etherborn and our obliterator, so. Nice. All right. So it's got lifelink, so we can basically only attack with this. I wonder if he's just like, oh, I'll just block it and sack five lands or whatever. It's the problem is he still trades. Yeah, it's not a great situation for him. We'll get our messenger out here. I don't think we have a reason to play our land. Okay, well, oh, no way. Did he just rip it off the top? No, he did not. Okay. First strike. Unfair. Oh, we'll take six. And crack back with everything? See where that math puts us? So many good draws for us right now, though. So many good draws. That might be one of them. Uh, let's math up. This thing has trample, so he'll block the messenger and take 7, 9, 11, plus Mutavolt, and then we kill him through Tality. I think those will work. Wow, okay. Uh, Phyrexian Obliterator, MVP. MVP, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, look, the Brutality did do something. It's exactly why we boarded it in. Because it can drain him for two. Wow, didn't expect to win like this, that's for sure. But I will take it. <laughs> Why not? Although for what it's worth, we could have actually have also given our messenger minus two, minus two, and drained him for two. If he had a, a ley line, for instance. Wow, okay, got there against Boggles. I like it. Good match. Good match. Monoblock Zombies doing its thing.